Mm. Man. There. Getting there. Hello, everybody. Working on the hood today. This is the hardest piece. This is the hardest piece of that. This model is going to be to get this hood right. I'll show you here in a couple minutes how it's going to look. I'm 99% happy with it. And it's got a ways to go. So, I, uh, a couple of days ago, I told you I was going to do show you kind of how I did the bondo, the, the filler. And so, I'm going to show you here. I, uh, I made, I just made a couple little, I just made a couple little fuel caps. Or one fuel cap and one radiator cap right there and I just made the exhaust stack for the 4020 that's adorable and I'm working on the, the fender light and the rear spotlight I just put some filler on that and I work just got done working on the headlights I, I thought the diameter wasn't quite big enough so I made them I made the diameter about another quarter inch bigger so when you put those two lights under the fenders they're gonna look a little bit more I'm trying to get the measurements off the toy and I usually go a hair bigger so on this I did not and when I put them under there I thought they were too small just from there you can kind of see you can kind of see from there that once it's you still got to use your imagination but I think this diameter is gonna look perfect compared to the one that was about a quarter inch in diameter smaller so that's that's what I've been got that done and then I got the bondo here ready I got the cream hardener ready to show you and I got a little cloth here I got a couple of these squeegees here and uh, so I'm going to show you but first I'm going to what I'm going to work I'm actually going to put some on the fender so let me move this tractor back over here I'm going to unbolt just stay right there, Devin. I'm gonna just take a second. I'm gonna actually unbolt, unbolt this fender, and we'll bring it over to the bench, and I'll show you how I actually, actually, oh, yeah, we unbolt this, and the fender's gonna come off right there. But I'm gonna put the bracket back on and the. The nut back on just so I don't lose it. Okay, so here we go. When I uh, when I bend the fenders, I'm not good enough to do it all in one piece. So I had to get the measurements from the bottom mounting plates, and then I had to get the measurements to how wide it was where the taper stopped, and then I then I had to get the measurements on the first curve. But I'm not good enough to do do everything and then another curve and then the angles in one bend so what I had to do was I had to put a seam in there which which is fine because you won't see it and then underneath you can see where the seam is but all the bracing here all the bracing that goes between those two pieces it just makes it it's as solid as it would be in fact it's more solid with the braces because without it you could bend this you can bend this steel a little bit so the first thing I'm gonna do is I've got this all clean and uh, I'm going to put some of this, the first coat of the filler in here and some down here. And you can kind of see, you can kind of see that it's smooth, so it isn't like it's just really rough looking where, where the weld is. I've, I've ground it down and smoothed it. It's just, I, well, if you painted it, you would still see that. So I want to fill that in and, uh, and so, that, so it all looks like one piece. So. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. Okay, I just take a little bit of this Bondo body filler. You can get it at Walmart or anywhere, any box store, tractor supply store. It's very, it's very cheap, and I love this stuff. It just makes the, the finished product look so nice, and it lasts, it, it lasts forever. If you, you you can't use it to to hold anything like a JB Weld or something. It's only good to fill in the little gaps and the little pits from the welds. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit on the cardboard. And then I'm going to get the hardener that you mix in. And I'm just making a small batch, so I'll just use a maybe a quarter of an inch line right there. And this stuff hardens within. It's colder. It's cooler in here in the shop today. 
So I got maybe I got two minutes. Normally, normally you have less than a minute if it's if the temperature is warm. You got to move, and you got to mix it good. You don't want any streaks. You want to make sure it's just a nice <clears throat> pink, even color. So then scrape down to the bottom of it and flip it over and stir it so you got it. Okay, so there it is. Okay, so that's the first, and then I wipe that screwdriver off as good as I can because once it hardens, it's it's hard. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm not going to use I'm not going to use the squeegee. I just take my finger and I because I like to dab push that right down in there with the squeegee. Sometimes it goes over it, but I don't think it goes down in there enough. So what I do is I just hit it like this and uh, shove it in there. And I actually like it a little higher than it's supposed to be. So, so when I time I sand it, I have a little extra there. And uh, so then what I do is I rub one side of it so there's not a big edge. Then I'll, because then sometimes I will rub the opposite way to make sure it goes down into all those little pits. And so then I'll wipe this side here to make it smooth. And I'll come back once more. <clears throat> and then that's. That's a, that's kind of how I do it. And then the next thing I do before it gets hard, I'm, I wipe it, I wipe it off my finger. So then that's that's the first piece, the first one. But then I got some more here. So what I'll do is I'll I take the screwdriver and I scrape down in and get this last of it. Then I'll slap some of that on here. And I'll get to get the rest of it because it's going to get hard here in about a half a minute. And that's with the weather cold. So. Okay, so then what I do is I kind of press, press that the same way down in there. And then I push that in there. And then after you push it down into where you think it's it's gone down into the pit, then I kind of always go back and forth a couple of times. And uh, then there's a little bit left. If there's a little bit left, I try to get it, use it. Then I grab the rag again and wipe my finger really quick before it gets hard. So, okay, so there's the very first batch of the defender so then it's going to get some more right here so let me take off let me grab the other fender i'll unbolt that one we'll do the same thing on that one oh, let me see so i got the i got some pretty cool stuff made today and uh like i said the hood it's, it looks cool with the hood and it's got a way to, to go. I'm gonna leave this one there. Okay, so here's the other. Here's the other way though. I made this fender, and you can still you can see it's smooth. It doesn't have a bunch of bumps and stuff, rough welds. And you can see down here, this one does because that doesn't matter as much. I want this to be nice and strong and sturdy because over the years, little kids are gonna see that toy tractor and they're gonna grab onto these fenders. And I want those fender to be nice and strong. So. Okay, so let's mix up the next batch, small batch. I gotta wipe this off so it's nice and clean. Okay, here we go again. Okay, get some of this. Maybe a maybe a teaspoon. Maybe a couple teaspoons. Maybe that's a tablespoon. So it's just a real small batch. Okay, so then I put this down here and. I wipe that around, get that all off the screwdriver. Okay, then I go with them. Oh, clean hardener. This is a little bit bigger batch, so I'd go maybe three quarters of an inch. Right there, maybe. And then that, when it comes out the rest of the way, it's maybe close to an inch. But stop, stop squeezing about three quarters on a bigger, little bit bigger batch. Okay, so I'm stirring it up. And... Getting ready for the next one. So this is this should give me a little bit more to do that down below on this one. And uh, but it, it, it dries like in a minute or two, and then if you feel it, it's actually really hot because it's going through a, a chemical reaction like glue or whatever, and, and so it, it, it heats right up. It's pretty hot, so you so you can't. And then in the next minute, next minute it's it's set right up but I still don't like to sand it for at least 15 minutes because it's still warm okay so here's the next one 
I'm gonna take this, dab it on here, push it right down into those little pits. So I'm actually pushing on it. Okay, so here we go, down, down this way. This is kind of the first, the first coat. So, but usually I can, I can get most of it done. And it, and just like it's supposed to be in the first coat. Sometimes on the ends, I have to get a little bit extra. Okay, so now I'll wipe, wipe that off real quick. And okay, then I'll do the same thing. I'll take the inside and grab that. Just smooth that edge. And I'll wipe the excess right down here. And then wipe this. Then I'll go on the inside and make that edge smooth. Like that. Then I'll wipe the excess down here. Then I'll go once just really light in the middle. Because I want it to keep it a little higher than it's supposed to be. So right there. I, that's that's like a, almost a perfect application for me right there. So once I sand that, there's going to be a little. It'll be a little bit high. So then once I well, I sand it with the sander and get the high spot down, and then about a sixteenth of an inch. Then I'll take some coarse sandpaper and do that by hand because I don't want to go down into past that level. So okay. So now here I better get going because okay. Now I got some more here. I'm going to shove that down into these little pits here right there and people always say they say are these kits and you just buy the parts and then you put them together well this way you can kind of see that you can see that these are all I make every part but when they're done and they're all sanded and smooth it looks like it's just one piece that you maybe you maybe bought so there's that and uh you can see already just that, how much better it looks than all those little welds. And then what I'll do is I'll take this and wipe my finger again real quick. And then I'll take and the inside, or the outside edge and smooth it so, so I don't have that big ridge to sand on. And then I'll take this side here and move that there. And then that won't be too bad. So that's a nice, I want, I want plenty on there because I don't want to have to put a second coat on it. So... So right there, you got the top and you got the the front. So then uh, I'll I'll do the I'll do the underneath it another time. But, okay, so there's that those two. Okay, now I want to show you. I already showed you the headlights and I showed you these. And I showed you. Here's the gas cap and uh, da, 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 da. here's the fuel cap. Okay, now I'm gonna bring the hood. The hood's still got a ways to go. But I'm excited because it's this. Let me see. I should I should put the fenders back on. It's gonna. Look, it looks cooler with the fenders. So let me take a second. I'll throw them back on. And then once you. This is the first time. This is the first time that I can see it looks like a little 4020. So I want you to see this. What I see. So let me just throw these fenders back on real quick. And so tomorrow, tomorrow I should get this, the, the hood finished. There's still, there's still more to do on it, but okay, let me get this fender on. There. I, I wanted to get the lights on it if, to show you, but uh, I didn't get, I didn't get the brackets made for the lights. Or the, down here because it's going to look cute. The lights are the lights are uh, another distinctive feature of the 4020 is those fender lights. And there's that. I got this one. I almost got it just a second here guys. He said he kind of wanted to see how I do things so instead of just Showing you a little quick little clips, I'll kind of show you the, how the fenders even go on here. And then you can kind of see how. I want to show you. Okay, there we go. I'll just snug them up real quick. Alright, so there's my lines for the fenders. There's that one. And there's that one. And there's my steering wheel cowl right there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the hood. You still got to use your imagination. Still got a ways to go, but there's a lot of there's a lot of 
different curves and shapes on this hood. There's a there's a there's a small curve towards the back, then it slowly gets a little bit higher. It gets really high up here. So I still I still have work to do on the front on this, but but uh, you'll see here in a second. You'll see in a second if you've been around a 4020 or a 3020 or 4010, you're gonna see a little bit of a start to just to start to see the first glimpse of it. There's a fuel cap in the radiator cap. Those still have to be still modified. And here's our little muffler exhaust. It might sit there. Yeah. Now that is adorable. <laughs> it is adorable. That is going to be so cool. So Alex, here's your tractor. This tractor is going back home to the farm in Pleasant Valley. I wanted to build this my whole life, this 4020, and it couldn't be going to a better place back to the farm where I grew up. And uh, these are, like I said, these are probably like my last models. And uh, what, how awesome to build a 4020, like I drove, we had a 3020, a 4010, a couple 4020s, and I loved, I loved it, and I built my, I built 20 of my little scale models, or my garden tractors. So, that's my life from that, from my childhood from on a tractor. So, so it's going to see tomorrow, probably tomorrow night, I'll maybe work a little bit more on the front of the hood and get that kind of roughed in. And I'd like to get start on the dash. The dash will, the dash will come up and around the steering wheel. And we could, still got to establish how the diameter of the steering wheel, how, how to make, what size to make that. And once the seat gets on, the seat will the seat will be another very big factor in the, to get that look. So it, it all goes together. The hood, but the hood is if you're making this along with me, you're gonna find out it's a little it's a little trickier the hood, you know, because of the taper in the front and from all that stuff. So but the rest of it I think you can probably you can figure it out because a lot of you's got your farm shops and all them tools and you got a lot more to work with than I do, and you got a lot more talent probably than I do, working your whole life on machinery. So, but anyway, I'm pleased with it, and I think I showed you everything for today. But I uh, we got the, we did the lights, and we did the the little fender lights. I'm doing the so this so once this is get sanded, that will be drilled. We will go on there, and the other one will get drilled, and that one will go down below for the rear spotlight and then I'm going to maybe by tomorrow night the head the lights will be on I'd like to get those on so I think those will be cool in there and I'd like to work on the cowling tomorrow because this from right here it goes up it goes up at an angle and then it starts to go back down again and this is where all the shifting levers are the steering wheel and the shifting levers are going to look cool too I mean this is awesome. I, I mean, I, I can kind of see it. It looks like it's starting to look like a, a 4020. And I can't wait to get the engine started. All of it. But this is the, this is probably the hardest part. Even the front axle, I'll make all the detail and look like the little bolts in it that adjust them. And I'll get all those made. I think we showed you already the, I think I showed you already the, the front wheels that we're going to use while I build it, those are the the nine inch diameter wheels. So that'll give me an idea where that axle has to come out and how far it's got to go down. But I want to get some some realistic looking tires like on the toy here with the three rib the three rib front tires. So we'll uh, I'll figure that out because I'm not going to ruin the looks of this this awesome model with the nasty looking front tires. So I think we're all set. And Deb, did you want to come in front of the camera today? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. That's a no. That's a definite no. Okay, so Deb said Deb, Deb said no to getting in front of the camera. I don't have for everybody to see her. Right. You don't no. want nobody to see you, right? <laughs> you got that right. Okay. If my little grandson Tarek was here, he could come in front of the camera with me, right? Yeah, he'd be fine with it. Yeah. So. 
they can handle it. I asked him if he wanted to do a live chat or what do you call it, a podcast or something. Yeah, yeah, live Facebook or whatever. And he said, yeah, he would really like doing that. He's ten years old. So, but but we did we tried doing a couple little videos with him this outside. He did great. Yeah, he did good. He was a little nervous at first, but he did good. So, and he loves he loves seeing my videos. So, so Tarek, this is. This is Grandpa's next project, and uh, it's turning out pretty good. So, okay, everybody. Thanks again for all the nice comments. See you later. Bye.